Coming up on Look Today, well, the Capital Region Youth Climate Summit took place today at HVCC's TechSmart campus in Malta, and we were there. And we've got continuing coverage of the March for Our Lives movement. More on that coming up. Plus, South Glens Falls School District administrators will be receiving awards next month. We've got those details all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, on tonight's program, I sit down with former mayor of Saratoga Springs, Joanne Yepsen, about an event that recently took place called Capital Women Saratoga. I also sit down with Mark Donahue. Now he's the president and CEO of Community Work and Independence Inc. And we're joined by Krista Clock. She's a public relations specialist for that organization. They're here to talk about an upcoming fundraiser, Dancing with the Adirondack Stars. That's happening April 7 at the Charles R. Wood Theater in Glens Falls. I also have your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Capital Region Youth Climate Summit took place today at HVCC's TechSmart campus in Malta. Now, the event brought students and teachers together from high schools all over the region. The educational experience was modeled after a youth climate summit which was held at the Wild Center in Tupper Lake. Well, we were at the event, and we spoke to Laura West. She's a youth organizer for the summit. Educating our youth is the most important thing we have to do, um, because you grow up with that idea in mind. It's hard to develop things when you're older, when you've grown up in this community or family with just a one-track mind for a specific thing. And it's... Once you're exposed to something this incredible, and you're seeing it, you know, maybe not firsthand, but secondhand, you, you know, you grow up with the ability that you can do something, and it's not that far out of reach. Ah, how true. And you know the uh, global social activist group called iMatter? Well, they were also at the summit. And we spoke to Maddie Atkins. She's messaging coordinator for iMatter. What we really should focus on is those people who know that climate change is a thing, agree that it's a problem. We should be figuring out how to give those people the tools that they need to make meaningful change. And I think that's what really stops people, is it's like this huge issue and it's like the ice caps are melting and it feels so out of your control, it feels so big. But that, when you break it down to a city level, it's digestible. It's something that you as an individual can make a real meaningful impact. Bigger than recycling, bigger than just signing a petition, bigger than just voting, calling your senator, any of these actions that are usually given to us. Another great event at the TechSmart campus in Malta. All right, in other news, the March for Our Lives demonstrations took place, as you know, on March 24 all across the country. Now, this is the movement that's inspiring tens of thousands of students to speak in favor of greater gun control laws. Now, many students in our region traveled to Washington, D.C. for the big march. And we had the opportunity to speak to one of them today, Matthew Taylor, who's a student from Saratoga Springs. He attended the event in Washington. Yeah, I think being there with 800,000 people and all being able to stay safe, stay organized, and really just be united in your message um, was something very powerful. Wow. Now, the social activist group Saratoga Unites helped raise money for these students from Saratoga Springs High School so they could travel to Washington, D.C. for the march. Well, we spoke to Nora Brennan. She's a leadership committee member for Saratoga Unites. It's really important to them to understand the First Amendment and being able to get out there and speak their piece and know that their voice is being heard. I think what this movement is also bringing about is us listening more and not patting them on the head and said, did you get the, the message across, but making sure that they actually are taking something and doing with it and feeling empowered to be able to do that. You bet. Switching from news to weather. Expect overcast skies tomorrow and a slight chance of rain slash you, snow. Can't say that out loud anymore. Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser with your first look weather update here on Look TV. Let's take a look. We have a low pressure system and a clear front, and then we have a cold front draped across much of the northeast tonight. 
So we're going to see a little bit of active weather for our area locally. And also, we have a low pressure system bringing not just heavy rainfall to portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma and East Texas and could experience about some heavy rainfall. They could experience some severe weather. No severe weather expected as temperatures will be on the chilly side into the lower to mid 30s from Clifton Park to Edinburgh. Saratoga Springs about mid 30s and also mid 30s in Fort Ever Greenwich. Whitehall as well will be about 32 degrees in the Glens Falls area with an overnight low of 30 in Parsville and Johnsburg. We're going to experience Plenty, maybe a little bit of snowfall, mainly cloudy skies as well. We're going to expect dry weather for the overnight hours, though, with mostly cloudy skies, south wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And here comes the moisture. You can see a 10 to a quarter inch of rain, 50 is tomorrow's afternoon high, with the south wind at 5 or so miles per hour. We'll experience increasing clouds with showers nearby as we'll be in the mid 30s through the 8 a.m. hour. And then we'll experience more 50s through the end of the calendar week, 80% chance of showers on Friday. Sunny day on Saturday. Enjoy it. Slight chance of showers Easter Sunday, but cooler 40s for highs. Partial sunshine on Monday will keep the highs about 44 degrees. That was your first look weather update on Lick TV. I'm meteorologist Clarence Poster. Now I send it back to you, Jesse. Tell me you can't wait till Saturday. Back to the news. Here's part two of a story we we're daughtered to tell you about last night. Two South Glens Falls School District administrators will be receiving awards from the Capital Region School Development Association. It's coming up in April. Yesterday, we spoke to Christine Orr, Assistant Superintendent. Well, today, we speak with Tim Dawkins. He's Oliver Winch Middle School Principal. And we spoke to him about what it means to receive this award. Interestingly, um, I come from an education family, and my dad was a principal uh, for 21 years in the same district, and uh, he received this award back in the early 2000s. So um, I'm really excited to be able to um, share that with him, uh, and I know my you know my family is very excited, and and so uh, so that was a that was a pretty cool little little twist to this also. Congratulations to Tim and Christine. Up next, former mayor of Saratoga Springs, Joanne Yepsen, is here. She's going to talk about an event that recently took place called Capital Women Saratoga. I also sit down with Mark Donahue. He's the president and CEO of Community Work and Independency. We're joined by Krista Clock. She's a public relations specialist for that firm. They're here to talk about the upcoming fundraiser. You ready? Dancing with the Adirondack Stars this is a good one. That's happening, by the way, April 7 at Charles R. Wood Theater in Glens Falls. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got a, a couple of lookouts for tonight. A reminder that tomorrow, the Prosperity Partnership is having their luncheon on Economic Index. It's called the Economic Index Summit. Sounds important, doesn't it? Uh, it's at the Vista Restaurant, which is at the Van Patten Golf Course Clifton Park. A uh, lot of very valuable information, I'm sure, at that luncheon. So uh, if you can, make it down to that. Also, if you're catching an early broadcast tonight, one of the most impactful in, uh, interviews I've done recently was the people involved with Change Maker. Uh, that's about male mentoring and coaches and the relationship with high school young males. Uh, very, very cool topic, a very interesting topic, very important topic is I think what I'm really trying to say there. Uh, Wellsprings involved with that. That's at Prime, which is at uh, National Golf Course here in Saratoga. It's tonight, 6.30 to 9.30. If you catch an early broadcast, get over there. And uh, last but not least, uh, my wife and I last night had attended an event at Cafe Lena on income inequality put on by ION in our name. This is an organization that we're getting very involved with so we can create content to get you informed on some of the issues in our community involving social injustice and income inequality. The, some of the information last night was absolutely staggering. You know, it, uh, you hear all kinds of opinions about what this current tax plan means for the middle class it's, uh, it's numbing how little it does for anyone who struggles to make a living. And uh, I really encourage you all to find out as much as you can about the topic. All right, that's it. Tonight on Look TV, Saratoga City Council meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.